This is my reaction to Scam Austin Season 1, Episode 3, They Can Smell Fear. In the last episode, Zoya planned to join Megan, Grace, Kelsey, and Joe for their dance team, and then proceeded to tell them that dancing won't get us to be popular and shit, that we need to go find popular people and be with them. And then encourage Megan to break up with her boyfriend. Okay, I feel like you're literally so just making up problems that don't exist. Follow their master plan they've made for my whole yeah. life. Parents shouldn't plan out their kids' lives like that. Just let them do what they want to do. Oh shit, yo, Tyler got us a gig next weekend. Are you kidding me? That's so At the cool. Buzzmill. No. I was just talking to Grace about her team. Because, you know, after our last meeting, I've been a bit worried. I just feel like it got a bit out of hand. Look, I don't want to name any names, but I just feel like someone on our team. Zoya. So I have amazing news. So Zoya just got us 100 pounds of free cookie dough that we could use oh, to raise nice. money for the that's team. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Really? Cookie dough's great. Yep. It's like basically free money. Hey, sweetheart. Did you catch a plane last Friday? What? Uh-huh. When you left, talent night, you looked like you were in a hurry. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know that's like one of Daniels' best friends, right? He is. Who's Daniel? No. I have a feeling I know who Daniel is. <laughs> oh, that's Daniel. If you gon' give me your label, Hall of Fame, on my mind, <laughs> trying to be the greatest. Accurate. That's the biggest cliche I've ever seen. I've been grinding all... No, why? Wait, why is his name Penetrator Joe? Nobody knows. I'll give you one So guess. we can get in with the football team. I don't want to get closer to the football team. I have a boyfriend. No, I'm not even going to get into that. When he inboxes you, just try to be flirty. <laughs> why would he DM me? Okay, he's going to DM you, so just be flirty. Zoya's great. I have places to be. Later, losers. How do you like your new brows? Okay, good. See, something did happen with her oh, eyebrows. Um, they're great, I guess, but, uh, like, are you sure it's supposed to be this dark? Mm -hmm. What do you mean, am I sure? Everyone in Cali wears them that way, but you wouldn't know. Oh, <laughs> what do you guys think? Yeah, it's cute. Yeah, I like the shade. Yeah, they look good. Awesome, kids. Killing it in that sweater, so you should pay for the pizza with your good looks. That's good logic. Are they arguing about who to pay cool. for the pizza? <laughs> are you eating the pizza? Yeah. Is that the same beat? Yeah, how does... Yeah, I like it. I added more eat it to it. How did that work? Did they had like the pizza with them and they're eating yeah. it, but they're arguing who to pay for it. Unless in Texas yeah, they do something different with pizza deliver, I don't fucking know, but... Like Megan. Normally Megan. we don't need the yeah, pizza I'm listening. unless you pay for it first. I like it. Unless they order a different pizza. My I'm not sure why they would do that, though. be a waste of money. Kelsey? I high-key remember you dissing the dance team like a week ago. Yeah, so. true. Yeah. What, maybe I changed my mind? Maybe. What, you never change your mind? I don't. Stand for something or you'll fall for anything. <laughs> Thanks, bro. What about you? <laughs> it's a dope jacket, Me? actually. Yeah, why are you laughing? <laughs> so you're admitting that it's your turn to pay for the It's piece not my turn. Yeah. I wasn't talking to you. I think that's you. what that just happened. I think that's I'm what just happened. I'm pretty sure that's what just happened. Then how did they get the pizza if they already paid for it? I mean, if they're already eating it, how do they pay for it? The biggest concern of the episode is how the fuck did they get the pizza if they didn't pay for it yet? Bring hot friends. That's basically mentioning us by name. God. Oh, 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 oh my gosh! Daniel's like so gonna be there! Girl! You need to calm down. Just what? Be chill. Mm -hmm. 
okay, well, we have to bring something. Imagine if we get there thinking it's boys bring booze, but then it's actually bring your own booze. And then, you know, they'll think we're weird and like they won't let us in and they'll slam the door right in our face. Like, it'll just be like, totally, totally, I, 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 breathe. <laughs> Look at me. What? Listen, Katie. You remember that day I was telling you I like that you never call her by her right name. It's a private club and people can smell it on you. Yes. They can also smell fear. Because they want hot girls. We are those hot girls. Oh! Oh. We'll fix your eyebrows, okay? You go in on Friday with eyebrows on fleek. Promise. Okay. Can you still stay on fleek so anymore? Fix it. Yeah, I can fix it. Totally fix it. If I don't look at her, she can't see me either, right? No. Of course not. Mm. If only that was the case. So what religion are you? Protestant. So if we had a threesome, then it'd be like world peace. What? Really? <laughs> yeah. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Right on. Can I just go? What? <laughs> I touch my friend's boobs all the time. Where'd you go? I'm sorry. I guess it's Where's not happening. But I can find someone of another religion. Do we have any Jews here <laughs> tonight? Anyone? Any Jews? World peace is Scientology. gonna happen. Oh wow. Uh, let's see what else we got. We got uh, Presbyterian. I'm not really sure how that makes sense. Methodist. Uh, but. Do you have anybody in a cult? Are you here? Yeah, right. Uh... Oh. Hi. She. Was supposed to hear the Marlins thing. Um, because sports culture in this country is super conservative, and I didn't want to be a part of that, especially in this time of economic nice. inequality. I happen to find one of you to be very sexy. That's great. You can walk away now. Oh! oh! And that was red on white too. That is fucking badass. That shit ain't gonna come out. Fucking badass, Oya. What the hell? We could totally take those girls. <laughs> Let me just make it worse, Kelsey. Do you know? Do you know where she is? No. Josephina, hey, we hey, need to find Kelsey. No. Oh, hello. I, I, we gotta get get out of the car. Why? Get out of the car. <laughs> okay, okay. Kelsey, I'm coming. So that was my reaction to season one, episode three of Scam Austin. They can smell fear. So Marlon and Tyler and Shay had a gig, performed their band, and Megan was supposed to go, but then forgot about it and instead went to a party with the football guys, with the girls. We met Daniel. Then Zoya threw some sort of red shit all over Abby's white clothes, which <laughs> which is a lot better having it be red and like very like staining and shit. So good on her. So yeah, that's it.